What is going on Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Global here back with another video and in this one we are continuing the training camp recaps. Today is going to be the last practice of the week before the Patriots Patriots have off on Sunday and then Monday for the second week of a training camp the pads will be on. So if you guys want to continue to see these training camp recaps, make sure you guys leave a big like on this video and comment your thoughts in the comment section below. The better these videos do, the more I know you guys would like to see them. Now, starting off with general notes here, guys not participating, really the exact same as yesterday. Brian Hoyer, James White, Andrew Stuber, Chasen Hines, Dietrich Wise, Jonathan Jones, Miles Bryan, and Jabril Peppers. Guy that was limited, Pierre Strong. Now, Pierre Strong wasn't limited yesterday, so it looks like he was back on that limited list. Like I mentioned, pads don't come on till Monday, so today we're just shorts and shells. This was another day where the defense won. Now, again, offense won day one, defense won day two. It was a tie day three, and day four, the defense is coming out with the win. Today was described as the sloppiest day that we've seen for the offense, but Greg Bedard touched on this a little bit, and it is a thought that I wanted to share with you guys, and that's the fact that throughout minicamp, the Patriots were practicing on red zone offense. Throughout four days of training camp, they've been doing an extended version of that exact same thing. And he mentioned when you're not using running plays, you're specifically using passing plays or using screens, there's only so much you can do within a tight window that is the red zone. There's only so many plays that you can have. And when you have an extended version of mini camp and four days of training camp, the defense is going to pick up on these plays. But moving on to each position here. Mac Jones was 6 for 12 in 11 on 11s with an interception, while Bailey Zappi was 3 for 8 in 7 on 7s. Mac Jones was 8 for 13, while Bailey Zappi was 4 for 9. Overall, not a great day for Mac Jones. Easily his sloppiest day of practice so far. Now, Bailey Zappi was mostly struggling today. Surprisingly, not in 11 on 11s, but 7 on 7s. Overall, he just continues to be inconsistent. He does have a nice arm. It looks like he's trying to showcase and display that, but he's displaying poor touch on the ball, not exactly knowing which type of ball to throw. Sometimes he's throwing the ball too hard, throwing it too short, throwing it too intermediate. Overall, he just needs to learn what zip to have on the ball and what type of throw to uh, throw in certain circumstances. Now, Bailey Zappi did today show off his legs a little bit as he did scramble for a touchdown in 11 on 11s. Moving on to running backs here, Ramondre Stevenson was the lead running back today in 7 on 7s. He seems to continuously be proving more specifically as a third down running back. Moving on to the wide receivers here, Devontae Parker's catch radius is very, very noticeable. He continues to make very nice adjustments on the balls that are thrown his way, and this is something the Patriots need. They need a guy with a really big catch radius who isn't just Hunter Henry or Jonu Smith. And as long as Devontae Parker can stay healthy, it looks like the Patriots finally have that X receiver body on the perimeter with a large catch radius. Now, Jacoby Myers did make the catch of the day today where he caught a 20-yard touchdown in double coverage over Terrence Mitchell and Sean Wade. Kendrick Bourne made a really nice adjustment to get open when Mac Jones was scrambling. Jack Jones, the rookie, ultimately lost him on the play, which led to the catch by Kendrick Bourne. Nelson Aguilar ran a really nice route that beat Terrence Mitchell up on the field for a touchdown. Terrence Mitchell, he's really not getting beat. We haven't heard anything negative about him up until this point, so he's performing really well. So the fact that Nelson Aguilar was able to run a nice route and go up and get a touchdown on him does say something. He also made a nice play where he went up and got a touchdown over Jalen Mills. Tyquan Thornton ran a really nice route today out of the slot where he was able to beat Jalen Mills, another guy in Jalen Mills who's, who is performing really well today. Christian Wilkerson is finally a name that we are hearing in practice as he made a nice touchdown grab today on a deep ball from Bailey Zappi as Christian Wilkerson is working with the second team. Jack Jones fell over and Wilkerson adjusted really well. Fellow defensive backs did call for a push off on Wilkerson, but ultimately it's not a game. Nothing was called. Now, newly signed Patriots wide receiver who I just made a video on, Josh Heyman, made a really nice contested grab over Malcolm Butler in 7-on-7s. Seven it was good coverage by Malcolm Butler, but it was just a better catch 
by Josh Hammond. Next play, Butler did smother Hammond, though, on a slant route. But, you know, nonetheless, it's really nice to hear some good news here from Josh Hammond, especially when he was just signed. And like I said, we're not really hearing anything about Trey Nixon, really, or, or Christian Wilkerson. So the fact that Josh Hammond's name is in here is a, is a good little tidbit to add and definitely something to watch. As for these tight ends, Hunter Henry had one drop today. Hunter Henry also beat Kyle Duggar today for a touchdown in 11-on-11s. As for the offensive line, Trent Brown had another false start today in which he had to run yet again another lap. Same thing happened on day two of training camp. Overall, the offensive tackles today struggled quite a bit. Moving on to the defensive line here, Devon Godshaw would have had two sacks today. Christian Barmore would have had two sacks today. And Jeremiah Farms would have had one sack today also. Now, Henry Anderson is a guy that we heard a good amount so far this offseason, especially in minicamp, and we're hearing some good things about him here today. He had a really good pass rushing rep where he got into the backfield very quickly. Now, LeBron Ray, the UDFA, also had one of these plays. As for the linebackers, Anthony Jennings would have had two sacks today. This is one of the best practices we've seen from Anthony Jennings, not just this offseason, but in a very long time in a Patriots practice. Cameron McGrone finally started rolling with the starters a little bit on the second half of practice. He would have had a sack, which was described as a very quick sack as it got into the backfield very quick. And then Jel Jelani Tavai also would have had a sack. Overall, this defense would have had several sacks today. It would have been nine sacks total between the linebackers and the defensive line. Now, Jawan Bentley and Rayquan McMillan appear to be your starters at inside linebacker. Nothing surprising here. Anthony Jennings had a great three-play sequence. He would have hacked or would have sacked rookie Bailey Zappi, then forced him out of the pocket. Then Mack came in, and Anthony Jennings would have also have had sacked him. Now, Jelani Savai had a nice rep where he snipped out a screen pass. Ultimately, just good instincts there by Jelani Savai on that play. As for the cornerbacks, pass breakups today, Terrence Mitchell would have had two, Malcolm Butler had one, Jalen Mills had one, Marcus Jones had one, Jack Jones had one, Jawan Williams had one, and Justin Bethel had one. Essentially, all of the cornerbacks had at least one pass breakup today. Jalen Mills saw some extra work today in the slot. Really interesting as we've seen him mainly as a uh, perimeter corner. There is some speculation that maybe he could be more of a rover role, but so far, without another defensive back stepping up for the Patriots right now, I wouldn't necessarily expect that role out of him. Today, ultimately, was another streaky day for Malcolm Butler. I said this before, and I'll say it again. Today, Malcolm Butler was Malcolm Butler. He did get beat more than you'd like, but he showed some really tight coverage and got a lot of reps also. Had some really nice plays, but also had plays where he just gave up a big play and Ultimately, it's just some inconsistency here with Butler that we've seen from him in a Patriots uniform before. Now, Sean Wade and Joshua Bledsoe are getting some reps with the starter state in 11-on-11s. 11 Good sign for both of those guys. Moving on to safeties, Kyle Duggar would have had an interception today that would have been a pick six on Mac Jones. Pass breakups, Devin McCourty had one. Kyle Duggar had one. And then Marcus Jones, the rookie, is getting looks at safety yet again today. So the question is, is he going to be a slot corner for the Patriots? Or is he going to be the potential replacement for Devin McCourty? This is a storyline to watch. And then Joshua Bledsoe is seeing most of his reps, not at safety, but actually within the slot. As for special teams here, Patriots kicker. Tristan Vizquiano, I believe I'm saying that right, made all five of his field goals today in competitive drills. And then the kick returners for today, pretty much the same thing. Ty Montgomery, Trey Nixon, Marcus Jones, and Kyle Duggar. Mac Wilson got some work today as a lawn snapper, interestingly enough, with the backup field goal unit. So far, Brendan Schooler, the Patriots UDFA, is the most likely UDFA to make the Patriots final roster as he's taking consistent reps with the Patriots top special teams unit. But what are your guys' thoughts here on day four for the New England Patriots training camp? Tomorrow, Sunday, they will be off, but they will be returning Monday where pads and contact will start to occur. So this is really when training camp will be a full go when we can finally start putting some of these theories and question marks we have to the test. So make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so that you guys know when I am posting new videos. But like always, don't forget, go Pats.